And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. And today it's time for some more unboxing and first impressions of this. Now this is the GP200 LT multi effects processor by Valton, Valeton. I've heard a few different ways of saying it. I'm not sure how to say it, but let's call it Valton for this. Now this, uh, okay, little backstory while I put it here. Um, not that long ago, a regular viewer of the show, Paul, hey Paul, by the way, if you're um, watching, a uh, regular viewer and comment of the show, Paul, uh, left a comment uh, on another video I did saying you should check this out because the amp modeling on this is really, really good. Well, there's a truck doing something outside. Excellent. Um, now, I contacted Valton. Uh, actually, I watched the Enderton's video, which it sounds really cool in that. I contacted Valton. They uh, got back to me and said, of course, we'll send you one. So here it is. So thank you, Paul, um, for letting me know this. Now, I thought for today, quick first impressions. Um, there will be a full video with me and Alex, both of us, and a bunch of different guitars, and we'll look more in depth today. I know very little about it. I watched not all, but most of that um, um, Enderton's video, uh, but I don't remember how things work and stuff. I just want to see intuitively first impressions. How easy is it to get it to work? How easy is it to get good sounds out of it? Uh, yeah, and go from there. So full videos with it coming. Also, let us know in the comments below if there's anything in particular you want us to do with this in the full videos. Okay, let's get it out of the box. So it looks like this. So quick user guide. I'm not going to look at that because in these videos, I never look at manuals. It's always just about sort of intuition, basically. Uh, let's first see what's in here. So we have a power supply and we have a USB cable. So this is USB C to USB A. Um, power supply. Now the power supply, by the looks of it, is a US style power supply. Um, but is it? Yeah, it's 100 to 240, so I can use it here. And it's 9 volt, 1 amp. Mm. I wonder, I'm going to, I may have a, because it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Uh, I may have a converter somewhere, but I'm going to try it with my normal power supply. Okay, now let's get this out. Let's see this here. So, this is what it looks like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there's no, I thought that was going to be attached to a thing that peels all of this off, but. I guess it's not. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got uh, expression foot switch inputs. We have an input. We have effects loop return and send. We have small three and a half mil uh, auxiliary in and phones. We have balanced outputs. Okay, so the TRS style balanced output. Uh, we have our oh, little MIDI the jack to midi jack to um, is it midi dim it's called i think Mac, jack to midi dim and a usb and the nine volt adapter now um from what i saw in anderson's video you can do everything on the app as well and we'll do all that in the full video but for today uh i think i'm just gonna see what i can do on the actual unit now let's put it there and let's zoom in a bit it still looks in focus, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, let's see. I'm just going to try it. Hopefully, I'm not going to blow it up. Let's see. If I plug... This is just a normal... I've got a... Uh, it's, it's an old power supply of mine that I bought ages ago. It's a T-Rex fuel tank. Uh, and at the moment, I, I think it has over... It has 1,200 milliamp or something like that combined. Uh, but at the moment, I've got the tuner plugged into it only so which doesn't draw much so let's see is it gonna work oh it works okay well there you go then i don't have to worry about the us power supply here so this is what it looks like when it powers on okay now for very first thing before i plug anything else in let's have a look if we're going to global is it oh that's the volume okay let's turn it down to begin with um display Brightness, okay, because I think this is 
doing silly stuff to the camera. I think this is better. Yeah, because the camera, it always... Oh, it's on zero now. So what? I'll go back. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, because it does, often that does silly stuff with the camera. So that should be better now, hopefully. Now, let's have a quick look at the buttons on here. Before I plug anything in, uh, we have, what do we have? It's hard to read. What is it? Pre, we have wah, dist, amp, and our noise reduction, I guess, cab, EQ, mod, uh, delay, and reverb. So I'm guessing, let's just, if I click on amp, Okay, it goes to amp, and then you use this to scroll around. Yeah, okay. And then I'll go back. Yes. And I go back again. Okay, cool. Well, that's how that works. And then you have these three controls, which control the three things that are down here. You have tap tempo. You have hold for tuner. There's a tuner. You can change the pitch. Uh, also control, so I'm guessing that turns stuff on and off. Oh, yeah, that looks like that thing here goes on and off. And then this banks up and banks down. Does something happen if I press both? Both. No. Okay. Well, anyway, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Now, uh, so this cable here comes from my, so I've basically got my uh, Peterson Strobo Stomp HD tuner, which is always plugged in on my desk. Now that goes into the input. And then I've already got this pre-prepared here. I've got two cables to run in stereo. Uh, which are these ones? They're not balanced, but... Meh. Um, so that should now be all plugged in. Um, it looks like we're in focus. Yes, still. Excellent. So now let's grab the guitar. So for today, I'm going to be using this, which is... Um, a Vanda guitar offset. Um, I did a sort of unboxing first impressions video with it here. You can watch if you want. There'll be a full video with this coming up soon. Uh, now this, like I said, goes via my Peterson Strobe Stump HD, which let's quickly tune. Ah, uh, sounds like I'm in tune. It goes from that straight into here. And then this goes straight out into my Audient ID44 interface and straight into Logic in stereo, which now if I turn the tuner off, hopefully we should all hear it. Ah, oh, once I turn the volume up, we should all hear it. We press this. That sounds great. Um, so what? Okay, so we've got. Okay, so we've got amp noise. What, okay, what amp are we using? We're using a Mesa Boogie LD, whatever that is. Uh, we've got noise um, reduction. We have a cabinet, which is a Mesa 4x12. We have some EQ. Uh, we have a delay, which is a vintage rack. And we have reverb, which is a plate reverb. Uh, okay, and then back. Okay, and there's a, there's a chain. <laughs> Okay, let's just look at a couple of presets and then build one. So this is a 50s plex. What does that do? So again, it brings in some preset pre thing. It's not a touch screen, so you got to do everything. On Presets clean fuzz. Huh. 
Hi, sweetie. It's nice. It sounds good. Uh, rock soul. Wild fruit, 70s blues, pure clean, pure clean. So, for example, what amp is that? Oh, uh, it's a uh, Jesse 120. slightly let's look at one more preset maybe vintage OD nice neo solo Ed story cat cat wah twiggy blues radio cat mr. brown double me AC oh acoustic sim <laughs> Slow dancing, oh, in, in Johnny Mayer's room. Scotland Kiss, Spicy Kitten, Strange Boy, Harvester, Dizzy Devil, On The Way, Endless Dream, Nice Solo. Let's go Endless Dream as the last one. Ah. Now let's see how easy it is to make your own. So hang on, let's go back. Okay, so we're here. So let's, um, how do you turn everything off? So do you just hold, you hold it in? Oh yeah, you hold it in. Okay, so let's get rid of everything but amp and cab. There's maybe other ways, but this is how I'm doing it. So what amp are we using here? Uh, Bellman 59N. So let's find something else that sounds interesting. I mean, there's tons. What about a matchless clean? Can we click, just click. Oh, and then you've got. Is that? Oh no, hang on. That's oh, okay. So you change by pushing this. You go to the next page. That's kind of cool. Maybe a little bit more gain. Space. That sounds great. Okay, uh, what cabinet do we have? Oh, so it goes to matching match cabinet. Okay, cool. Well, let's use that. So that's a that's a sound. But it's very dry. So let's add some reverb. Do I turn it on like that? Yeah. But I don't want an, an, an N star, Northern star. Uh, just want some room. That's great. 
Just room ambience. Oh, there's another page. What does that do? Trails. Oh, if you turn it off. Doesn't really matter in this case. Cool, that's pretty straightforward. Um, what else do we want? What about, I mean, we don't need noise, noise um, reduction at the moment. Let's do, what, this, so what do you have to choose from, from P, pre, okay, so it's like boosts, okay. that back and that's a sign to do that that's a great sound um, what about let's check at some of the distortions That, that sounds great, everything at 12 o'clock. Now, how do I reassign this to be the distortion now? Uh, now, do I... Do I do that in here somewhere? No. No. Do I do that in? I can turn it on and off like that. But how do I sign it to be this? Uh, it's going to global. Foot switch. You'd think it would be here somewhere. to do that but um or yet anyway um you'd think it'd be near somewhere patch settings can i how do i get to that anyway i mean it doesn't matter I'll, that's the kind of stuff i work out but i mean that sounds great um let's add a little bit of delay Sweet Baker. pretty easily done too that sounds great and I guess you just press save and then you have drums oh cool drum machine now if 
for hold that in. Okay. <laughs> There's a loop of... That sounds great, but just that. And I guess you just press save. I'm not gonna save over the preset. Um, let's just, I guess, leave it at that because I don't really know. Or do you press those two buttons for something? No, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like those two do anything together either. No, so there's a way to get into Looper, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. Anyway, I <clears throat> just wanted quick first impressions on what it sounds like. Sounds pretty cool. It seems that the main part of it seems pretty easy to navigate through. Um, there are extra things like going to different banks and loopers and you can, um, it says none there. So I'm guessing you can assign that to do something. Um, I guess you can't, those don't, no, they don't push or click, no. Um, I'll sort all that stuff out. Like I said, first impressions, I have no idea what's going on. Um, <laughs> I mean, rough idea, but not super good idea. Uh, if there's anything in particular, as I'm thinking, if there's anything in particular you want us to do with this or compare to anything, let us know in the comments below because there'll be full videos, most likely more than one full video with Alex and me. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, big thank you to Paul again. Big thank you to Valton or Valeton. I've heard both, like I said. Um, so I'm not sure if it is, or Valetone, maybe it's meant, meant to be Valetone, or Valetone, without the E at the end, I don't know. Valton, let's just call it Valton. Uh, thank you so much for sending this to me. Uh, please make sure, if you, especially if you've gone this far into the video, please make sure to subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell if you want to find out when a full video with this is coming out. Uh, yeah, we'll do everything. We'll look at the effects loop, we'll look at, um, might even do one with MIDI at some stage. Uh, we look at uh, using external foot switches and expression pedals and all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned for that video. And like I said, anything in particular, let us know in the comments below. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.